Hello, in this video we're going to be going through how we'd remove a small broken drill, tap, stud or even bolt. So for this demo we're going to be trying to remove a 1.6 broken drill bit. Uh, we've done some test cuts and found that a 1.1 electrode uh, with the spark gap on a low power setting gives us about a 1.5 to 1.55 uh, spark gap. So that would be perfect for disintegrating that whole uh, drill bit. Uh, and without damaging the host part. As this is a smaller component, uh, we could fully submerge it in the tank to give us that uh, dielectric. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna simulate as if it was a larger part in situ. So I'm gonna use this flushing nozzle, which comes with a kit. Uh, and we've got it connected to a garden pump that's in a bucket of tap water. And we're just gonna give a constant flow of water, fresh water over the top of this. And that just provides the dielectric it needs uh, to spark nicely. Keeping it clean will make it uh, spark better as well. So even if you do submerge a tank, you're best to have a flow if you can. The hardest thing about these smaller broken drills and taps is the positioning. So uh, for smaller components, uh, what I usually suggest is bring the head and the electrode down uh, right above the workpiece and then adjust your workpiece so it's uh, dead over the center of where you're trying to erode. If you can't move the workpiece, you know, it's a big uh, component, there's a couple of things you can do. Uh, first of all, uh, the actual head itself is on a 20 mil shank. So if you have an old mill or something like that that you can attach a 20 mil shank to, you can use that to get the level of adjustments that you need. We've also had a lot of success with people putting uh, small compound tables uh, and putting the uh, uh, mag stand on that to give you that, again, that level of adjustment you need to uh, get it right over the top of the uh, broken drill or tap. You don't have to have the head perfectly vertical like it's shown here. Uh, if you undid the bolt at the back, you can get 30 degrees of rotation on the head uh, as standard. Uh, however, if you can get it securely fastened and get a good flow of dielectric uh, over the part you're trying to erode, uh, there's no limitation to the angle that it can spark at. 